Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yah. This is truly the day that He has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I do hope that you too are rejoicing in Yah, the Elohim of your salvation. I just left a funeral of a young woman, 34 years old, um, from an assembly I used to fellowship at, and she was there. You know, as I said in that funeral, I reflected on, you know, because they were talking about death. There were so many people dying. And I don't know about anywhere else, but I know here in the Bahamas, we have been having a lot of death. I mentioned it before. And it's sudden death. Sudden death. And, you know, one of the um, speakers, someone who stood up to say, as I knew how to bring greeting, she mentioned how you should... You know, if you find yourself on your deathbed, that you should, before you take your last breath, she's encouraging people to say, um, Yeshua, have mercy on me, or call out to the Most High. And I said, then I said, you know something, you should not even wait until then. Because right now, what is happening is sudden death. So people ain't even having an opportunity to say, or to call out we have been having a lot of people that have been going to sleep and not waking up my friend who I sent on the side of she showed me a photo of a gentleman who was with her and her husband he and his wife and her, and her husband that celebrated her birthday in October and she said to me because after the lady said that that was what I said to my friend I said you shouldn't even wait you shouldn't even wait because you don't know if you're going to even have that opportunity. What are you waiting on? You know, and I said to her, you know, there's a scripture, I think, in, I read it recently, but it spoke of how Yah said he would laugh at you in your day of calamity. Why did I read that? I think it's improper. It's anyway, I read it very recently. And she said to me, she took out the photo and she showed me the photo of a gentleman who was her husband and his wife and her, and anyway, the couple, the two sets of couples, they went away to celebrate her birthday. And she said to me, he's dead. I said, what? She said, he's dead. Got up that morning, ate breakfast, went to get ready for work. His wife heard him called out and went in the room. He died of a massive heart attack. 57 years old. I was like, what? She said, yes. Do you understand? And this is some of the things that has been happening so I came, I just wanted to say, don't wait until you on your dead. But you have people living and doing everything they want to do. And they want to wait until they take their last breath. And they want to use their last breath to say, oh, Yeshua, have mercy or Jesus, have mercy or Jesus, forgive me. I think that's, that's crazy. The pastor said, oh, that's so, you're taking a risk. And my thing is, why would you take that risk? Why would you take that risk? You can serve the most high and enjoy life. You understand me? People want to live and have fun. And what, and what do they call fun? It is nothing but perversion. Getting drunk and having all these sexual um, um, sexual relationships. That's, that, that is what people are putting their life, their, their salvation on hold for. That is why people are holding back on surrendering their life to the most i've been saying to my children you can live and enjoy life without getting drunk you can live and enjoy life without having illicit sexual activity on many different partners you understand serving the most high doesn't prevent you from living um enjoying life in fact serving him enables you to enjoy life because the plan that he gave us was so that we can live life and have it more abundantly. You don't have to be having all these sexual partners and, and risk getting sexual diseases. You understand me? Eating any kind of food and with shortening your lifespan. I want to encourage you. Do not wait. Do not wait. Do you understand? Tomorrow was not promised to you. And right now, your dead bed, that quote-unquote dead bed experience that plenty of people waiting on, that wasn't promised to you. The other day, there was a young woman out walking, sat down at the bus stop and died. 
You understand? People went home and went in the shower, died. Southern death. You understand me? Southern death. I want to encourage you. Do not wait. Because it's not promised to you. You may not have the opportunity like the thief on the cross. Or the stake or the whatever it is that you feel Yeshua died on. You may not have that opportunity. Solomon admonished us to remember now our creator in the days of our youth. Do you understand? Now. Don't wait. You understand me? Because it was not promised to you. It was not promised to you. The pastor said, Live you may, but die you will. You must. Do you understand? And many people are not thinking about that. They think, oh, I got all the time and all of this, and I'm still young and all this stuff, and doing what? What are you doing? Do you understand me? Living a crazy life. And you are risking the sudden death experience. Do you understand? Remember now thy creator. It is appointed unto man once to die and after death the judgment. Remember him now. Do not wait. Shalom.